I don't know what craft is. Um, I sure am attracted to it, though. I know that. <laughs> Handmade objects are, are unique. Curl it in an irregular way. Like all leaves are, they're not flat. Everyone bears some personal touch. Looking a little bit more like a leaf. I think you kind of have to have a knack for the crafts. I mean, that's my personal opinion. Because if you sit down and sew a garment, that's good. But with the crafts, I think it takes a different technique. It's something handmade from the heart and from the hands. third petal here in order to use this highest place. I, when I'm mapping out a piece, um, the, uh, what I say is that the edges, I mean the lumps of the stone, are the stones and the holes are mine. This is such an exciting stage when there's nothing except possibility here. Can you see her silhouette? What a proud, sweet face she has. What's exciting in the beginning is that you don't know what it's going to be, and then at the end it's exciting to have it become what it's going to be. Each one's going to have that gesture that's captured in the moment. Because that's what glass is. You're capturing energy and motion in the moment. not getting a copy or they're not getting a reproduction or a, a thing that I do constantly. They're getting something that I just thought of at 10 o'clock that morning. It's just this picture that comes into my mind, so I have to figure out how to make it. Tapestry is traditionally flat, and this idea of building up layers and making it three-dimensional is something that I've developed myself. I call it three-dimensional tapestry. All of the techniques that I use are traditional weaving techniques. I'm just doing them in a different way. Each one was done by a hand with a brain connected to those hands that was trying to express something about the world in which they live. And uh, that's really what life is about anyway. <laughs> 